Right then, today we're going to be taking a look at factorising expressions. So when we factorise an expression, we're basically doing the opposite of when we expand a bracket. So whereas when we expand a bracket, we multiply all the terms on the inside by all the terms on the outside of the bracket. When we factorise, we want to put the expression back into a bracket by finding the highest common factors. If you want to check out that video on expanding brackets, I'll leave a link in the description and the card in the top corner. So for this first question, we have 6a plus 18. So to begin with, I'm going to look for the parts that I can factorise. I'm going to first start with the numbers, so I've got 6 and 18. So I want to look for the highest common factor of both of those. So the highest common factor of 6 and 18 is actually 6. And then in terms of the letters, I only have an A on this side of the expression. I don't have a term over here on the right, therefore it's not common, so we're not going to put it on the outside of the bracket. So now what we're going to do is open the bracket and see what we need to multiply by. So for our expression, we need 6a, so that would be 6 multiplied by a, so I'm going to put an a there, then I put my plus, and then for our expression, we need 18, so that's the same as 6 multiplied by 3, so I'd put a 3 here. As I was saying earlier, when we factorise, this is the opposite of expanding brackets, so we can expand it just to check that we've got the correct answer. So quickly, for expanding brackets, I've got to multiply all the terms on the inside by everything on the outside, so I do 6 multiplied by a, which gives me 6a. And then I do 6 multiplied by 3, which gives me 18, so plus 18. So it gets me back to what I started with right at the beginning, so we know we've therefore got it correct. Okay, moving on to this next question, we have 5x minus 5. So in terms of the numbers, I've got 5 on the left side of the expression, 5 on the right. So we've got a common factor of 5. And then in terms of our letters, we only have an x on the left, nothing on the right, so we're not going to include that on the outside. So I can then open the bracket. So we need 5x, which is the same as 5 multiplied by x. Then I have my minus. And then we need a 5, so that's the same as 5 multiplied by 1. So I put a 1 there. So again, we can check this by expanding the bracket. 5 multiplied by x is 5x. And then we've got 5 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 5. So back to where we started. Okay, we're now going to take a look at this next set of questions. Feel free to pause the video at this point if you want to have a go at these, and we'll go through them in just a few seconds. Okay, for this first one here, we have 7a plus 21. So I'm going to take a look at the numbers first. I've got 7 and 21. The highest common factor of those is actually 7. So I'd put that on the outside. I don't have a common letter term. I have an a on the left, nothing on the right. So we have no common letter term. So then we're going to open our bracket. So to get to 7a, we'd have to do 7 multiplied by a, and then we'd add, we need 21, so that's the same as 7 multiplied by 3. So that fully factorised would be 7, open bracket, a plus 3, close bracket. Okay, for this next one, looking at the numbers, the highest common factor of 16 and 10 is actually 2. And I don't have any common letter terms, I've an a on the left hand side and a b on the right. So then we'd open the bracket. So we need 16a, so that would be the same as 2 multiplied by 8a, and then plus, and then for 10b, that would be the same as 2 multiplied by 5b. Okay, taking a look at the numbers of this next expression, we've got 7 and 35, so the common factor there would actually be 7. And again, no common letter terms, as we have an x on the left, a y on the right. So open bracket. We need 7x, so that would be 7 multiplied by x, then plus. So now we need 35y, so that would be the same as 7 multiplied by 5y. And that would be the answer for that one. Now for the final question in this section, we have three terms. We have 8a plus 4b plus 12c. So looking at the numbers, I have to look for the highest common factor of 8, 4 and 12. So the highest common factor of those is actually 4, so that would go on the outside of the bracket. And again, I have no common letter terms, so we open the bracket. So we need 8a, so that would be the same as 4 multiplied by 2a, plus we need 4b, so that would be 4 multiplied by just b, and then plus again, we need 12c, so that would be 4 multiplied by 3c, and that would be the answer to that one. So well done if you follow those questions okay. We're going to have a look now at some more difficult examples. Okay, for the first question, we have y squared plus 5y. So for this one, we're not going to factorise any of the number parts because really there's a 1 in front of that y squared at the beginning, but we don't need to put that in front of the terms that we later factorise. So now I'm going to take a look at my terms. I've got, I've got a y squared and a y. So 
So we're dealing with the base of y. So when we have common bases in this one, which is y, we have y squared and just y, we always take the smallest power on the outside of the bracket. So out of y squared and y, my smallest power is just y. So that's what I'd go on the outside of the bracket. Okay then, so to make y squared, that would be y multiplied by y, then plus, and then to make 5y, that would be y multiplied by 5, and then close bracket. Again, as we did earlier on, we can check these by expanding the brackets. So if we did y multiplied by y, we get y squared. And then y multiplied by 5 is 5y, so plus 5y. So back to where we started. So as I was saying earlier, we don't need to put a number in front of this because the highest common factor would technically be 1 because we had 1y squared and then 5y. The highest common factor would be 1, which would go here. But we know we don't need to write 1y. We can just leave that as y. Okay, for this next one, for the number parts, we've got 6 and 9. Well, the highest common factor of 6 and 9 is actually 3. And then I have an a on the left and a squared on the right. So we're dealing with the base of a, and then we always take the lowest power. So we're going to take that a on the outside of the bracket. So then to start with, we need 6a, which is the same as 3a multiplied by 2. And then plus. Right, now we need 9a squared. So that would be 3a multiplied by, well, to get to 9a squared, I'd need to multiply the 3 by another 3 to make 9. Then I'd have to multiply by a, my a by another a, which gives me 3a. And then close bracket. So again, we can check this by expanding 3a times 2. So we just do the 3 times 2, which is 6. Then we'd have the a. Then we'd have 3a multiplied by 3a. So it's going to be plus. So 3 times 3 is 9. a times a is a squared. Okay, we've got a few more difficult examples that we're going to go through now. If you want to try these first, feel free to pause the video here and we'll go through them in just a few moments. Okay, for this first one, we have 12z take away 3z squared. So looking at the number parts, we've got 12 and 3. The highest common factor of those is 3. And then we have z on the left, z squared on the right. So we've got a base of z. We take the lowest power, so we're going to take z on the outside. So on the inside now, we need 12z overall, so that'd be 3z multiplied by 4. Then take away, we then need 3z squared, so that'd be 3z multiplied by another z. Moving on, we have number parts of 18 and 12. Well, the highest common factor of them is actually 6. And then we've got a cubed on the left, a squared on the right. So we've got that base of a again, but looking at our powers, we take the lowest power. We're actually going to take the a squared on the outside of the bracket this time. With an open bracket. So we need 18a cubed. We've got 6a squared, so we need to multiply that by another 3a. So the 6 times 3 would give us the 18, and then the a squared multiplied by the a would give us the a cubed. We're then going to take away... And then finally, we have 12a squared. Well, we've got 6a squared. We just need to multiply that by another 2. Because we've already got the a squared, so we need the 6 multiplied by the 2. Okay, for this next question, we have 4a squared b plus 8a cubed b squared. So again, looking at the number parts, 4 and 8, the highest common factor is 4. Okay, we have an a squared and an a cubed. So the lowest power is our a squared, so we take that on the outside. And then we have a b on the left, a b squared on the right, so the lowest power would be just the b. So then open bracket. So if you look at the expression for the first bit, we need 4a squared b. But when we factorised it on the outside, we already have 4a squared b. So for this first bit, I've just got to put 1. So when I expand that, if I did this in reverse and expanded it, I'd have 4a squared b times 1, which gives me again 4a squared b. Then plus. So then to start with, we need 8, so that would be 4 multiplied by 2. We need a cubed, we've already got a squared, so that we need to multiply this by another a. And then we need b squared, we already have b, so we'd have to multiply that by another b. And then close bracket. So that would be the 4 times the 2 is the 8, the a squared times the a is the a cubed, and the b times the b is the b squared. And for this final question for today, we have 25a squared b c squared plus 35a b cubed c. So again, looking at the number parts first, 25 and 35, the highest common factor of those is actually 5. So we take that on the outside of the bracket. 
Right, we have an a squared and an a, so the lowest power would be just the a. We have a b and a b cubed, again the lowest power would be the b. And then we have c squared and c, again the lowest power is c. So then we open bracket. So we need 25, so that would be 5 times 5. We need a squared, so that would be our a times another a. We need b, we've already got a b here, so we don't need to put anything else in. And then we need c squared, so we've got c, we need to multiply that by another c. So that first bit would be 5ac, we're then going to add on, or we need 35, so that would be our 5 times 7. We need a, we've already got an a, so we don't need to multiply by anything else extra there. We need b cubed, we've already got b, so we actually need to multiply this by b squared to make that b cubed. And then finally, we need c. We've already got the c, so we don't need to multiply by anything extra there. So then we can close the bracket. And that's that one fully factorised. OK, and that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are any specific topics you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know in the comments. And I'll try to cover those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.